Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Mad Cheese as always. Got a tip video for you today. Something that, uh, you know, I get a lot of requests, people saying that they're struggling to score in the red zone, uh, score in goal line situations. So I want to make a video about it because there's really only one tip that you need uh, to be a better player uh, when it comes to uh, critical situations of scoring in the red zone. You really only have to follow one uh, simple tip, and it should make it pretty easy for you. I'm going to go over that in today's video. And what that tip is, is you basically want to pre-designate your plays. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I backed out to the main screen here. For people that customize playbooks, you probably know, and maybe you don't actually use, but you do have the option to uh, do a My Game Plan tab. It's going to be essentially the same idea as that. As you can see right here, we have, uh, it, it breaks it down by situation. And you're essentially going to do the same thing. You have your red zone, your goal line. I'm going to do this, but it's going to be a little bit augmented. I'm not going to actually do it on this particular screen. But you're going to do the exact same thing in game. You're essentially going to have situational preference plays based off of how far away you are uh, from scoring. So I typically suggest to have a play at the two-yard line and in that you can always use it will always score from the five yard and in the 10 yard and in the 15 yard in and the 20 yard and in from there so no matter what situation you find yourself in a game you can just go straight to that particular play so you don't ever have to really think about what your scoring plays are going to be you don't ever have to, have to try to figure it out you already know what they're going to be so i'm going to show you a few that i personally use but everybody's going to be different obviously not everybody uses the the, the, New, the New orleans playbook like i'm going to be using today so Figure out your own plays. These are going to be plays that you are, number one, very good at. You run them all the time. They always have success. Those are going to be the ones you typically want to try to save for scoring situations. Um, but, you know, you can also use them throughout the game. But it's going to be more successful if you try to hold on to them for these situations. So I'm going to start off from the from the two-yard line and in. One of my favorite personal plays is the halfback stretch out of the I-form close. So if I find myself on the two-yard line, number one, I typically try to run the ball, uh, try to run it in. Um, this is something that if it's first and goal from the two, I'm pretty sure that I can get these two yards. I can run this play of, of, of you know various type of ways. You can see right there, barely get in. But you can. Run, the reason why I like this particular play is I can run it to the left, I can run it to the right, I can use a lot of motions, I can do a lot of different things um, that I might not typically um, be able to do in other running formations. There's a lot of area of opportunity. So this is probably my favorite play as far as running goes. Now, I also suggest you should have a passing play as well. Now, me personally, one of my favorite uh, passing plays in a goal line situation, I like to spread my opponent out. Take, I don't really care if there's any mystery involved. I like to uh, pick a play that has a spread formation look. Uh, something like slants is usually pretty good. Um, this way, there's no real hiding in what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter, but if I can spread them out, I typically like to put the RB route and sometimes even the Y route here on zigs. I have my slants, uh, but this is basically, if it's a man coverage, these, these zigs are always going to beat. And even if it's a zone coverage, a lot of times, as I'm in a random defensive look, if it's a man coverage, I really just have to wait for them to break outside. But a lot of times, if it's a zone coverage, they'll just find spacing inside the, in between the zones. So it's really something to have to watch out for. Uh, but this is a play, I mean, this, like I said, it's called spacing for a reason. You're just looking for space. And then, I mean, if they're using this middle route, a lot of times the slant will come open over the top of them. But the bottom line with a play like this and the concept of this video is I know exactly what the scoring range is for these routes. If you look at the A route and the zig routes, they only have a scoring range. Those are the ones. Those are the routes that I'm focusing on. And they only have a scoring range of about a couple yards. So if I move back, say I try to run this play from the five, this is this is outside of the scoring range of those routes, so it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and let's run this play one more time. I can show you what I'm talking about. The A, the A route there is still pretty close, but you can see I didn't get in. As I tried to uh, turn around, I actually ended up coming back. So if you do stuff like this, you don't know the range of the play. It's going to leave you uh, in a situation where you're not really, you're still in the same situation. You get a little bit closer to the goal line, but you don't have the ability to punch it in. So like I was saying, the play you pick itself is not really important. I don't want to make it about that. Uh, make this particular video about what play that you're picking because everybody's going to be different. But I'm going to give a few suggestions based off of the rule of 2 yards, 5 yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, 20 yards. And uh, the next one I would say I like to use the levels wide corner quite a bit because around the 5 yard line a lot of people really like to run a lot of cover too. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick random. This is a good play because pretty much every 
uh, every route that's being run is being run at about a five yard pace. I mean, on the left side, pretty much every one of those routes is breaking at that point. Uh, the running back is more of a catch and run option. Uh, but you can see, I mean, you're going to have, you know, this guy here, he's the deepest. Uh, you can see he gets behind the linebacker there. The running back's pretty much only going to be effective, I would say, in a scenario where somebody's running uh, a cover, uh, I would say a cover three or cover four, some sort of off coverage in this particular play. So you can eliminate that pre-snap if, if it's not the look that you're getting. Here it looks like we're getting a man coverage. A lot of good man beaters because the in routes are man beaters. So it's going to move back to the 10 and pick some plays for the 10-yard line. I would say a good play for me from the 10 and the 15 would probably be the Saints fork. This is something that I could use for about both levels that I'm pretty comfortable with. Now, from the 10-yard line, I mean, I have a couple different options. The A route there, I mean, I don't really think he does much, so I'm going to put him on a streak. But I, I really feel like four routes here can score from the 10 or from the 15 uh, if, I, if I really want to. I'd say from the 15, only maybe about three routes will score. But this is going to be pretty much the same play uh, throughout. The RB route is going to be one of my scoring routes. The Y route is going to be one of my scoring routes. And uh, the tight end, if I have him on a streak, is going to be a scoring route. So that's why I like a play like this. But let's start the 10 first. From the 10, I think the slant can score, which is pretty much the only difference uh, between this and moving the ball back. So right here, we have a cover three. Get a nice, easy streak. Like I said, three or four routes are going to be the target here. This is, once again, this is a play that I run a lot. doesn't have to be a play that you particularly uh, run or are aware of. Uh, but you can see, I mean, this guy right here, right in the back of the end zone, um, that's going to be probably one of my first reads is going to be the RB route. And you can see right there, I mean, that's why I said that he can score from the 10, but that's that's probably an even better route from the 15. That's why a play like this can really be, you know, there's a range, there's a variety uh, from where this can score. As you can see right here, I mean, it's a cover two. The A route's going to get open right in the back of the end zone once again at a cover two. I know the exact distance and effectiveness of these routes. That's the bottom line. So I'm going to go to end the video there. Uh, I'm not going to continue forward because, you know, it, like I said, this is there's a heavy level of personalization when it comes to this for you guys, particularly to go through your favorite playbook, know what your favorite plays are, and then you have to lab them. You have to figure out exactly what the range is of the routes. That's the bottom line. Find out exactly what the effectiveness is and what the range is of the routes they're running. And it's not too it's not much harder than simply looking at the diagram here and saying, okay, the RB route ends at the goal line. You know what I mean? It's that simple. And then you pretty much know exactly what the scoring range is of your plays. So like I said, moving on. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, offense, defense, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.